There was drama on the floor of the House during Prime Minister's question time when he was confronted by a number of MPs after making his statement on the steps the government has taken in the run-up to the coming general election. The PM had indicated on the floor of the House that the National Security Intelligence Service has information of possible violence before and after the coming general election. The National Security Intelligence Service has informed the government that there are indicators of possible political violence ahead of the next general elections. Raila says the NSIS report indicates that tribal groupings are polarizing the country and may be the epicenter of planning of violence against other communities. On a different issue, Cherengani Member of Parliament Joshua Kutun took the PM to task over the unsolved issue of the election date. Mr. Speaker, can the Prime Minister give the real government position about the election date. Court made a ruling and we respect that ruling. And that's Mr. Speaker is what the President has gone by. Mr. Speaker should even have added that Mr. Speaker that is was also adopted by the Cabinet. The question is what is the government position on the date of the election? Not, not your opinion, not anybody's opinion. There's no official government position on this matter. There's only partisan positions. If the government does not even have a position on the election date, a very fundamental issue to having peaceful elections in Kenya, how can the government then claim to have any roadmap that has no date on when the elections will be held? It is at this point that the Prime Minister was forced to withdraw his earlier remarks and admitted that indeed there is a government position on the election date, only that he did not have a unanimous approval by Cabinet. The Honourable Speaker, his official position, I said that Mr. that ruling was being, Mr. Speaker. I said, Mr. Speaker, that that ruling was being contested in court. Much drama was to follow when differences between the PM and Eldred North MP William Ruto played out as Ruto labeled the Prime Minister a party hopper and sought to know if he holds any credibility to talk about party ideologies. The Prime Minister holds the record in this house for having changed parties. He holds the record. He hasn't told the house how he managed to change to all these parties. I think he must be in the eighth party. I have changed political parties four times because NAC was not a political party as such. We were only an LDP. The Speaker, KANU, uh, uh, ODM, U, e, U, e, uh, UDM, and URP are four. He himself, Mr. Speaker, has changed parties four times like myself. <laughs> It is the second time that William Ruto and the Prime Minister have used the floor of the House for verbal exchanges, exhibiting their political differences as race to the State House hots up. First time they differed on ICC-related matters. Eranocheng, KTN Prime.